today I'm going to show you some things that I have. I pulled my bins out. I have three bins here. They're the black and yellow bins. So I'm going to show you what's in some of these bins. Oh, that was surprising. <laughs> That's a huge. <laughs> it looked like a horse. Just <laughs> I went. Yeah. Uh, oh, something. There's so many bugs around here. Yeah. Don't bite my shoulders. Woo. Um. So I also had some questions and some comments about that video when I took all my stuff out. More than one said. How can you travel with so much stuff? That would drive me crazy. Well, it's not so much stuff. I actually travel with a lot less than a lot of other people. For me, I know, sorry, is something, something got my shoulder. Um, for me, I think it's crazy living in a house with so much stuff. Stuff that you never use, stuff you haven't seen in years. My theory is from what I've uh, experienced and from what I've seen and with me, the more cupboards you have, the more closets you have, the more stuff you're going to collect to put in them. When you reach a certain point, you're going to stop putting stuff in them because they're going to be full. So if you live in a really large house with lots of closets, you're going to have lots of stuff. If you have a lot of cupboards, yeah, you're going to fill them up. Yeah, I watched my daughter and my son-in-law do it. They have, now have this huge house. Well, when they lived in Tucson, they didn't have a smaller house. And I remember telling her, I go, you guys are probably gonna fill all these cupboards up. Oh no, the cupboards everywhere. Closets everywhere, upstairs, downstairs, four bedrooms, bed, you know, a basement with, yeah. Well, the last time I went to visit, yeah, they're, they're filled up. <laughs> Yeah. So I want, I just want to show you, I did, uh, I think a year ago, I kind of showed what I had in some of these bins, but I'll show you what I have. I don't think it's that much. And here's another thing. As far as weight, weight goes, I don't, the only seat in here is my driver's seat. My passenger seat is out. The two uh, second row seats are out and the two uh, third row seats are out and those were one was a double and then one was a single so oy vey shmea, those were heavy now without further ado let's see what i got here okay let's just take a quick overview of what's in here whoops look what we found my book don't forget the book it comes in ebook also it's a lot cheaper than the book and the links are in the video description in my amazon storefront and in my comment on this video how to live in a minivan the minivan leeway okay enough commercial <laughs> there we go so here we got this this is a bag of vinyl gloves. I like these. They're vinyl. They're not latex. They're a lot more durable. I like to have them handy because I might change the oil I'll check the oil, not change it, but check the oil, my fluids. Um, I might have to pick up something that seems dirty out here. And I like to have a glove ready to go. Whatever's on here, this bin lays on the top. So everything here are things that I usually use maybe when I'm standing out here. Um, These are some extra baggies. I like to have these handy. Sometimes I open a package and the package isn't gonna be durable enough to stay inside, so I put them in. I think this is a, a gallon size, maybe? Yeah. 
This isn't the biggest size, but this is a gown size. I use baggies. There we go. I am very organized. I like to keep things simple. And I like to keep them easy to get at. Yeah. There we go. Now, this I keep right on the top. This is my makeup and lotion. Well, one of my lotions. But yeah, I keep... Uh, Le whoops. <laughs> that way I can sit out here and I use my window as a mirror sometimes yeah so I keep this handy right out and this way I keep them handy here if I go into the gym and I want to uh, get ready in there I just I can slide open grab this because this is my hair stuff all of my hair stuff is in here and then I can grab it and go into the gym this is just I mean I keep everything in a little baggies um, Hair clips, hair bungees, spray, combs, yeah. Everything is all compact in here and it all fits. It kind of mushes down my brush, but I can always get another brush and it goes, there we go. So I got my makeup and my hair stuff in little little bin drawers now this I keep here this is I've mentioned this this is my bushcraft 101 just in case and I like to look at it every once in a while I mean um, tarps and tarp tents canvas let's look at another one. Oh, how to read a compass now I also have this on ebook if I really want the book I also have it on my Kindle app and I also got this one because I realized that if the grid goes down, I mean, uh, I'm not going to be able to, you know, our, an EMP will cause our devices to stop working too. So I'm going to have this. I'm going to grab it and take it with me. It's an ax. Yeah. This is a num one of the number one books for um, survival, wilderness survival. Oh, what's this? This is one of those. This is another fairy light. I haven't used it yet. When I buy them, I usually buy two. Oh, yeah. This is the one that still has this. I kind of got rid of this system. But, yeah, I think, yeah. This can be used as a light. I just like to have them handy. If one goes down, I do, I really do like the fairy lights. So I keep one handy. I was a Girl Scout, be prepared. This is just a bag. I don't know what came in this, I forget. Something came in this bag. Oh, I think my Jackery came in here. My new Jackery, that's a pretty nice bag. If they're really nice bags, I kind of keep them. I'll find a use for it. It's so lightweight. It takes up no space. Why jump? Why dump it? Yeah, I'll find a use for this. What is this? Oh, this is a pre this is another microfiber. It came in a pack. Oh, I can get rid of this. It's a white one. It came in a pack of like five. Yeah. So now this, what's in here? Oh. <laughs> When I went to Ohio, I had those three dolls. I know I've mentioned them. I used to do videos with them and make videos for children. And I used to use my red gloves. Well, I didn't want to get rid of my red glove. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, if I ever go to the opera, anybody ever wants to take me to the opera, I'll have my gloves. 
There we go. You just never know. <laughs> Hopefully my dress will be red. Wasn't, um, there we go. Okay, so I'll do the rest of the video with my opera glove. <laughs> okay, so yeah, I put them in here. I gave, so when I was there, I said, look, I go, I don't think I'm gonna be doing any more videos with those dolls, and I gave them to my granddaughter. Cause she already had some, but I'm sure they were ruined by then, so yeah. What is this? This is an extra, those netting bags that you put my produce in. I have two of the extra. It came in a pack of five, you know. I'll keep these. Yeah, I think I'll take these off. I know red and lime green, you yeah. know. I'll take these off. I know, there we go. Yeah, and then red gloves. It's like the red balloon. <laughs> Put it back in here. Okay, then in here, I've got, uh, there's a toothbrush for, I wondered where that was. I kept this just in case I wanna clean something. I think I'll put that over there. Now this, these boxes, my daughter sent me a Burt's Bees um, gift set. The box is so durable. I mean, you know, could go through a nu nuclear blast, you know. But in here I keep, and of course they're organized, you know me. Um, there are cords, different types of cords. Yeah. Now I probably should go through this. It looks like there's some cords I don't need anymore. And then of course this. How many of these do you need, you know? Yeah. Uh-oh, there's another one. <laughs> I think I'll get, see which one looks the newest. Yeah, I'll throw, I don't need all those. I'll, I'll get rid of one of them. I do like, even if it's small, I like to kind of purge. Now, oh, here's some more. I wonder where these are the quart size. I need to get these out. This is, this is heavy. Well, not that heavy, but for binoculars, it's heavy. So I almost thought, well, should I take this with me when I go, when I first became a uh, nomad? Because I've ha I had this, I've had these for a long time. They're astronomy binoculars. Yes, you can see a lot in these. Yeah. I would actually like to have a tripod with it because they're heavy and you almost need a stargazing chair because you have to lean back. You can't just sit up and hold them up your hands start shaking because it's like, these are like five pounds. There we go. I do carry with me, I carry with me a professional lens cleanser and I keep it, I think it's in, I think, it, yeah, I think it's in the next one, you'll see it. I care because you can't just rub it, there could, and it would hurt the lens. These are, I mean, these are like uh, $350 uh, binoculars. But you can get a tripod and you can get a little L, um, These come out so big. This has the eye thing so that they peel back. But this is to, for your, to save your eyes, get your eyes closer. And yeah, with these, when I was in Tucson, I kept waiting for the um, Andromeda, Andromeda Galaxy, Andromeda, yeah. And I got it just at the right point where it was, uh, highly visible. 
I don't know if it was the right time of year or if it was the right year. I went, I'm not that expert at it, but it's hard to find, but I found it. And uh, it's like four million uh, light years away. It was, it was almost life changing to think that I saw that. I saw it. it's pink and it's, it's sort of oval and it's pink. And I caught it just at the right time and I saw it and I, I just couldn't believe it. It was sort of life changing to see something like that. I couldn't see it real clear, but I did, I could see it, yeah. And through the astronomy binoculars. So I brought these with me so um, so I can stargaze. Now, when I was boondocking and Jack was there when we first met, we stayed up and we were stargazing. And of course he has a good camera and I had just got my um, 12 plus Pro Max and it has night vision. So I was taking pictures and that was pretty cool fun times so i do carry this with me i don't use it a lot but it's worth it for me to keep it now here this is a lock box and i keep it for um, you know, if I need to go into California or a state that I have to lock up my firearm, yeah. Right now I've got kind of different stuff in it just because it is space. I don't want to just waste space and have it empty. I've got some other things in here, but if I was going to travel uh, to California or another place, um, that they make you separate your firearm with your ammo, then I've got the lockbox. And I just got it at Walmart. It was like, 12 bucks or something like that. Yeah, it's got a key. And... Okay, so that's what's in this top bin. There are things that are useful to me right off the bat, and I might need to get at them. I don't know why these are here. Actually, I could put these in another place, but there's room in here for it, so I'll just put it here. So I think, no, I'll put the fairy light back. I don't need it right now. So you see, I mean, I don't carry anything that's unusual, I guess, that I wouldn't need. <laughs> My red gloves, but what kind of space does that take? Uh, not much. My book. My book? <laughs> yes. That's me. I mean, these are useful. Oh. Yeah. Look how easy it was. It's putting this all back. No big whoop, as I always say. Okay, so there's that. That's this one. Let's get into the next one. See what's in here. Well, I have rearranged this one because I'm selling stickers now. Stickers! Stickers! Um, and I'm mailing them myself. And the it's e-commerce and I've got uh, a store. You can buy them on minivanlee.com. Yes. And the link is right up there above me. So if you go on minivanlee.com or minivan-lee.com, doesn't matter. It's going to take you to the same place. I own both domains. And so I need to be able to get in this really easy so I can fulfill your order for your magnets and your stickers. And I've got two more um, magnets and stickers I'm going to be getting for you. I've designed them already. I just need to get there. So... In here, what I have, I've got some labels because I ordered some nice bags for you, yes. So I've got uh, more somewhere else buried, but I pulled a few out for, for shipping. Got my labels. I just handwrite it. And I do put out a, um, 
a personal note for you too. Handwritten personal note. Stamps now. <laughs> I'd like to get, when I went to the post office, I like to get unusual stamps. Who wants just a flag? I mean, the flag is, yay, wave the flag. But they had these one, the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Ooh, if you get a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Yeah. And then baseball all-star, Yogi Berra. Woo! Now, I asked for, they had one heritage birds. He said he was out, but then he found them, and he goes, well, here. No, these are heritage breeds. These are heritage animals. Now, there's a pig on here. If you if you order, <laughs> I always worry. If you order a sticker and you get the pig, I, I, it wasn't anything uh, to be derogatory. <laughs> and then, of course, the turkey. You turkey? No. And then, of course, you donkey. You know? Oh, I'm not calling you a jackass. I promise. They got ducks here. So if you get any of these, I it, it just, I'm running out. <laughs> and then of course I got the moon landing. Okay. Thought I'd explain that. Yeah. And then I bought some other stickers too for, I want you to get a nice package with nice things on it. I want it to be interesting. I'm like a little kid at heart, so I know that you guys want, you know, you might be too. Yeah. You might, I, my theory is as we get older, we're just little, we're, we're still children in our, in, in these adult bodies. I just, I just think we are. Okay. So now I also have some bigger envelopes because one, of the stickers for some reason doesn't fit in those blue ones so i've got these two so this is sort of my this is sort of my business bin my business the bb the business bin i bought some other stickers i just got them from um they were like three dollars from amazon stickers we all love stickers well, here's my stickers. These are my stickers. Let's see what size. And of course, I'm organized, so they're in little baggies. Uh, this is uh, this is the size of the two by four. So if you put it on your van, that'd be like the size. Yeah, the size. I got the purple. And I've got the black and white. Let's see if you can see that. Then I've got the larger ones. These are five by three. This is the black and white one. And this is the large, the purple one. Yeah. This one's a little busy. Personally, I like this one better. Okay, so I've got a baggie, little baggies inside of a big baggie. Stickers, my stickers. Then I've got two, these are actually a little heavier. These are approximately five by three. These are the magnets. Do they stick? Oh yeah. There we go. And it, I've got one on the other side there. It doesn't come off. People that are buying them, I've got a friend who has one of these. It just stays on through thick and thin. So there's the magnet and then, let's show this magnet. Magnet. Here we go. So you can order these if you're interested. So let me get the magnets, the little baggies in a big baggie. It's just easier to organize up. Here we go. 
Now here, this is just a box of cards. You'll get one of these too, my card. Yeah, there we go. Minnie Van Lee. And like I said, I'll put in a personal handwritten note for you, just for you. Okay, so what else is in here? Let's get this in here. Um, I've got my Scrabble pieces in case I want to do a video of words. This is how I do it. It's um, stop motion. Yeah, I just use stop motion. I film it stop motion. Yeah. So in case I want to leave you a uh, little video with words in it. What's in here? I'm sure it's useful. I try not to carry things that are, oh, these are um, cable ties. sharpener. This is more crafty stuff. I've got some um, hemp string. Yeah, That's what I make like um, my ankle braces out of or bracelets type. I've got some of this linen thread. I learned in uh, I learned how to do uh, the first binding ever it's called monk binding. You can bind a book. And I learned how to do that. I used to bind books up. And uh, it's pretty cool. And it, you had to use thread. I kept some of the some of the products, uh, tools to do it. Velcro, always, always uh, useful. Now these here, I kept a few. I used to have so many. Um, these are those booties for your shoes. You know, like if a plumber or a tradesman comes into your house, they'll put the booties on to protect your carpet. That's just what these are. I had a bunch of them and um, I just kept a few of them just in case. Okay, these are, this is an extra, the Girl Scout thing always prepared. When I bought these, I bought uh, two of them. This is a, um, a fairy light, but it's the one that has the USB. Let's look at it. It's the one that I like now. It's the one that has this. You can put, may you can put uh, batteries in here too, yeah. So you know me, I'm prepared just in case the other one goes, but it's lasting a long time. And then I found out it, it doesn't use the this, this same uh, remote. It's a whole different remote, so it's a different code in here. And if the other one goes bad, I'll use this. You know, I can get rid of the box. There we go. Wait a minute. It's already got this, so. <laughs> How'd you like it? Yeah. There. Okay, I should get this up and play it. But, oh, here's a little paper that goes with it. It's me harmonica. Okay, oh, here. there's a screen. I keep this around this screen. I think it fits this, yeah. Yeah, it fits this. I use this a lot when I'm boondocking. When I'm in the city, I don't want to leave my windows open. I really don't. I don't. I don't trust people that much here in the city. Okay, what's this? Oh, yeah. True, true night. 
they wanted me to review, and I still might, I still might do it. They wanted me to review their headlamp. Well, I did keep this in the kit. You have to attach it to this. I told him, I said, uh, you know, you sent this to me, but you sent other things too. And I just said, well, go ahead and send that if you're into it. They really wanted me to review it. And I said, you know, it's not gonna be pretty because this thing sucks. <laughs> I have a headlamp that I bought is a lot cheaper and I've, I've shown it before. It would, it, it, it beats this by a mile. Yeah, 10 miles. This is one of those, what I call nomad bling. <laughs> yes, it's got a little, let's take it off. I don't wanna hurt my hand. And I got it on, why can't I get it off? There we go. Um, it has a compass, I don't know if it works. It's got one of those clips. Oh, it's got this in it. Oh, you undo this. It's sort of sharp. Uh, yeah, pretty lame. But it's a cord that when you take this apart, it's like so much of cord for survival. If you ever needed a cord to uh, jump off of a, a tall building, want <laughs> to be Spider-Man or... Yeah, this is called my Nomad Bling. Okay, I had a bunch of paints. I just kept the purple. I love my purple. Here's a flag. You never know. Put a flag up. This is a bag of my cordage. Yeah. This is that one, yeah, it's still good. It's real thick, gummy, it's Gorilla. You can put this on, supposedly you can put this on your wall behind. Ah, another bite. Uh, I know my shoulder still, I need something bit me back there. Um, there's some weird bugs here. But you can put a, like a strip of this up and down, or I think it's across, up and down, and put it behind a picture, then push it onto the wall. It's so strong, it will hold. Well, I got this last year. What I did was I took off my license plate in the back, and I got two more. A lot of times when you put a license plate on, it's got the two, you screw on two, maybe at the top. Well, I got two more for the two bottom ones too because there were so many people without their license plates in Reno that they were ripping them off in the night or if somebody was parked. So I had a friend, he had his ripped off. It was really bad too because he's from Oklahoma. He had to call his brother. He had to call it and they had to send it. Yeah, he couldn't drive. Well, I got this and I put this, now I, Put, so I took off my uh, license plate. I put three strips, strips of this behind it and put it on the car. Then I actually put um, the two top and then I put two more screws in. I put them on tight. It would take them so long to get off my uh, license plate. So that's what I still have this for. And then I've got this cordage. of leather. This is, I think it's called number 36. It's like, I forget the name of it is, but it's highly superior. I follow, I haven't watched any of these videos for a long time. It's called Corporal's Corner. He's a survivalist. He was in the middle military, but he definitely travels with this. And I do believe that the link for this, I've had guys look at this going, oh my gosh, that is good stuff. I guess it is. Um, a lot of times guys know about this stuff. Well, uh, the link for this is in uh, the video description. Do you want to carry this? Even if you live in a house, this is superior cordage. Oh. I got bags and bags, bags inside of bags.
I don't know why I'm carrying so many pencils. It came in a box. Pencils. It's called the world's best pencil. <laughs> okay. Caught my eye and I bought it. Bag of batteries. I don't use them that often. More crafty stuff. Let's see what's in here. Of course, I've got those clips that hold up my uh, fairy lights. These are really nice because, well, you know, they've got those two little pins that go in and the link is in uh, the video description. Tape. This is a different kind of holder for my bushcraft knife for my belt. You know, these ice carry extra. I have a, a nice supply of them. Those little clips for my curtains. Yeah. There it goes. It's a little. Oh, this is a black strips of Velcro. Sanding paper. Somebody gave me this. I said, oh, could I have a, just in case. Because what I would use this for is if I was making a walking stick and I needed to maybe sand down parts of it. Here they are. This is it. And then it's got those two prongs that go into the material in my uh, minivan, the upholstery. Great big carabiner. Oh yeah, this is Gorilla Tape. Uh, Corporal's Corner, again, he carries this black tape with him. Um, it's good for like, even if you're in survival and your pants rip or your, your jacket. It's all stuck to it. Guess I need to get another baggie. it will, you just put it on there and it, it will stick and it sort of, repair. for the moment it repairs uh, things, maybe a, uh, your tarp, it's real sticky. But it's Gorilla Tape, I don't know what the name of it is, but this is what it looks like, it's this wide. It's like this is available. And And then here's just a, yeah, a box cutter. These seem like useful things to use if I need them. I mean, I was in when I lived in a house that was very crafty. I mean, I had a sewing machine and yeah, I sewed things and made covers for my. Remember, I made a really nice cover. I got some um, upholstery material and made a nice cover for my um, office chair. Cause sometimes it leather, they're really vinyl and they can start ripping and I actually covered it. My granddaughter's using that now when I go to see, I say, oh, I remember that. And then, uh, well, this, <laughs> yeah, ooh, my Ontario. Don't mess with me, huh? I like it. It's an Ontario brand. Rat 4. It's a full tang. That means the thing goes all the way through. Not three quarters or half. Very sturdy. Yeah. And this is made out of really nice wood. So you can really hold it. I look you're like, wow, it's scary. Yeah. Very sharp. Serrated on this end. Yeah. This is my favorite, but I don't really use it. And on your belt, and then ties around your uh, thigh. 
Well, this is this. This is... I don't know why these are down here. Only have one left. Extra electric toothbrush. I need more. Extra things for my electric water pick. Oh, there's another one. I have two update. This is I'm into Survivor. Anybody else a Survivor fan? I know since COVID, yeah. But uh, I did buy some Survivor buffs. Those were the first buffs, the net gators. They called them buffs. And this one I cut for my just more of a headband. And this is one of those. I should probably take this to the. Um, the shower. This is just an extra. You know those washcloths are they're more like they uh, they uh, slough off. Yeah, they're easy to dry too. I don't know why this is in here. I'm gonna put this in my gym bag. So this here is again, I've shown it before, my Bofong um, VHF, UHF receiver uh, sender, yeah. Um, Channel mode. Uh, it's got the FM, I forget. I know, it's been a while, oh dear. I know, I don't want to send. I forget how to get. See, I haven't used it in a while. See, if I call, I can't call. I know I'm all afraid to use it now. I got to look at my instructions again. Because I can get FM on here. I got my book. But also, oh. also have this one. This would get better reception if I could get, if I really had to, you get on the roof or something, yeah. Get up on top of a mountain and then you can get better reception. Mm-hmm. I got this. This is more for survival. It is a good FM radio, though, I'll tell you. So that's what's in here. That's everything. Somebody's got the mouth of a sailor over here. <laughs> oh, and then, of course, I've got caution tape. I carry this because I bought this at Walmart one time uh, in Parker. I was out boondocking, and what the RVs do out on BLM land is when they're waiting for somebody, uh, friends to come, they caution tape over this huge area off. And then they put like they'll put like wrap a, a period they'll wrap like a, a rock around it so it'll hold. Well, I thought, well, yeah, I guess I did, you do need caution tape to caution everything off. You know, keep everybody out of it. If you're trying to save a space or you don't want people coming near you, I'd just caution your tape, caution yourself a nice section. Well, that's what I've got in here, and I think I'll stop here. This is what I carry in these two bins. Um, in here, those are just clothes. It's just clothes, uh, tops, underwear, bottoms, 
and shirts and buffs and uh, arm gaiters, uh, yeah, scarves, long sleeve shirts, things that I don't use as often down below. You know what's in those bins over there in the back, um, either my beauty products or my food or my dishes. And then next I'll go through, maybe next time, I'll go through what's up here. This bin here is my overflow food. We'll go through that. And then I've got two more bins. One's like at the bottom of my garage. And then one is just stuff that I kind of need often, but not as often as like the top one of here. So that's it, you guys. Um, I love you. And I'm so glad I don't know, I'm slouching. I'm so glad that um, you're here with me. And I just want to say how much I appreciate all of you. I really do. Uh, watching my videos and following me. And and some of you have been with me since the beginning. My goodness. Uh, Julie White, Carla White, Felicity, Craig Hoffman. I know I'm missing so many of you. I'm sorry. Sadie. Um, Sadie, I forget what your last name is. Yeah. You've all been with me and I so appreciate it. And all of you new subscribers, uh, that do subscribe, it shows on analytics that a lot of you that watch it don't subscribe. If you could subscribe, if you really enjoy watching my videos, please subscribe. It really helps me out. Oh my gosh. Yes. And when you leave a comment, it helps me out too. So thank you. Mm, love you guys a lot. Uh, don't forget my Amazon links. If you want to order something, go through my links. I've mentioned before. That's all I'll say. I got the book, the Facebook group. It's called Mini Van Lee's. Just If you can just type in, Mini, if go in the groups and look for Mini Van Lee, you'll find it. If you go on the web and search for Minnie Van Lee, you'll find me. You'll probably find my Amazon store, Minnie Van Lee's Amazon store. You'll find uh, Minnie Van Lee podcast. Yes. I'm everywhere. <laughs> yeah. So I do love you guys. Please subscribe. Like I said, give me a thumbs up. Thanks for watching it all the way through. I love it. And I hope that you enjoyed this. Um, seeing what's in here. I know that uh, some of you guys just like to see. And it's always good for me to see what's in here too. There's a few things like this little baggie needs to be reorganized. Yeah. 